Every app needs authentication, but let's be honest, setting up user logins and permissions is usually a headache. Why? Well, because most no-code builders don't make it easy. And that's where Zite is different. It's a no-code app builder with authentication and user login built right in. And in this video, I'll show you how to set it up in just a few minutes. Zite comes from the team behind Fillout. If Fillout gives you powerful forms and automations, Zite takes it further, letting you build full apps with authentication, user logins, and complex workflows, all without writing code. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com, and today I'm introducing you to Zite and also taking a look at one of the trickiest parts of app building, user authentication. We're talking security, privacy, and making sure that the right people can see your app. By the end of this video, you'll understand how you can build a partner portal, a client dashboard, or an internal tool with user authentication already built in and ready to scale. If you are building business apps with no code, having user authentication isn't just a nice to have, it's a must have. And that's where Zite stands out. Instead of relying on third-party data sources, plugins, or clunky integrations, authentication is built right into the platform. In just a few clicks, you've got a clean, secure login system that's ready to go. And it's all configurable without touching a line of code. So let's jump into Zite and take a look at how you can actually set this up. The great thing about Zite is that you don't need to wrestle with a complex setup. All you need to do is prompt and tell Zite what you want. For example, if I say, create a partner portal where partners can log in and upload assets. If we hit that off, we wait for Zite automatically. It knows that authentication will be needed and it asks if I want this to be set up. So the moment that I hit add login, Zite will ask me where I want to store my users, the data of my users, and I've got a few options. I can select Zite database, which works right out of the box. It's native in Zite. And we've got Airtable. If I already have a base in Airtable where I hold the data of those who I want to be users, or another connected database if I want more control, Google Sheets or one of the other supported data sources. Now for this example, I'm just gonna go with Zite databases and create a fresh database. What Zite will automatically do will spin up a users table and link that to other tables that I might need for this particular app. Think assets, profiles or activity. Now don't stress because you can change and configure those fields after you've actually created your database. So what Zite has done is it's gone and created a bunch of databases that are also linked to one another, which is incredibly helpful for you if you are just first creating an app. So we'll select create database and then a pop-up will appear, which asks you to select which table you are pulling your users from. So of course for us, it's going to be the users table and the email field is, well, the email field in that table. Then we'll hit done and Zite will begin to build out the app for you. But what if you've already built out your app and you just wanna connect your users to that? Well, that's super simple. You'll want to jump into the app that you want to connect. Here, I'll jump into this team CRM. And down the bottom, we'll see that we've got the plus icon. Select that, select add login, and then follow the same prompts that we just did. Of course, you could also prompt Zite and ask it to add the login functionality to your app. And jumping back into our original build, here we can see that we've now got a login page, but also a new login tab. So if we jump into that, we'll be able to see the authentication process, sign in with Google, magic link, we can toggle these on or off, as well as who can sign up for an account. Anyone, of course, means if they receive that initial login page, they can put in their email and they'll get access, invite only, only allowed domains. And then you've also got where your users are stored. Currently for me, I use the Zite database, which you can jump in and edit, like I mentioned earlier. From the users tab, we can access our users and again, jump into our database to configure. Okay, so let's see the user login and authentication in action. You'll need to first publish your app. So go ahead and do that. Once you have, open up the domain, select sign in. You'll be able to either sign in through a magic link or Google if you have those toggled on. So I'm quickly gonna sign in through Google. And now we can see that we have access to the partner portal. We also have the ability to upload assets, check out the activity and view a personal profile. Now beyond the user login and authentication, you'll also notice that on the back end, Zite created a bunch of automated workflows for us. 
Here we can see it's grabbing the assets, those assets that are uploaded, creating assets, user profiles, and looking at recent activities. Now, the cool thing here is that each individual workflow is tied in specifically to the logged in user, which is something that you won't find within other app builders, particularly the vibe coding space. It is incredibly exciting to see the steps forward Zite are taking with regards to improving their platform, and we're only excited for what more is to come. Now, if you're building with no code, looking for better authentication for your internal apps, or you just simply need help in automating parts of your business, make sure to check out the description of this video where I've dropped some helpful links, including a free trial for Zite. But if you are needing some professional help and expertise, then don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com, where our team of experts are offering a free free 30 minute consultation.